currently capsizing, we are taking a look at what we know about boating and it is dangerous and it's dangerous. And Caitlin Ehrlich, she tells us more on the awful trend of boating accidents and how they can lead to change. Every boater feels when an accident happens and uh, they it's just tragic. We don't want anybody to have a bad experience on the water. On his way to teach a boating course on the water, Captain Rich Mendez thinks of yesterday's tragedy and considers what might have happened. Shifting weight causes it and people, you know, can shift from one side to another and uh, maybe if a wave hits and they can, you know, get pushed over to one side and, and the operator could lose control. Though we are waiting to learn more about what happened on the Hudson, we do know we've actually seen a decrease in accidents over the last two years. According to the U.S. Coast Guard, there were 658 boating-related deaths in 2021, a 14.2% drop from 2020. Accidents decreased, too, by almost 16%. Alcohol is the leading contributor for fatal boating accidents. A 2005 death of a Long Island 11-year-old girl led to state legislation requiring anyone operating a motorized watercraft to complete a state-approved boating safety course by 2025. But as the state's Parks and Recreation Department's website explains, all you need is a certificate for completing that course to operate a recreational boat, not an actual license. At least that's a good start. but. I would say 90% of boaters have never taken an on-water boating lesson. And it's, it's really like the best uh, investment one can make into, into their boating uh, hobby is to, do the, is to take an on-water lesson. Those teaching boating safety want people to know there is a lot more traffic out on the water, and that's because there was a spike in purchasing boats, according to the U.S. Coast Guard, in 2020. In Brooklyn, Caitlin O'Rourke, News 12.